previously on Locker Nuts. This was an exciting day at the auctions with quite a few great looking units up for sale. The competition was stiff so the storage auction pirate and I teamed up to buy the one we both wanted the most. This 10x10 had been sitting for decades. The dust and cobwebs made us have to have it and we paid a whopping $5,000 to get it. So far it's been everything we hoped, filled with vintage treasures and stuff we've never seen before. Even though we paid a lot, we think we stand to make a big profit on this one with items such as pre-World War II trains, military items, tons of sports cards, vintage New York police uniforms, a mid-century Grundig radio, and the oldest book we've ever found. Amazing. Day three of the dig and we need to clear this locker out, but there's still more boxes to explore. This is good, right? These racing champion ones. That's yeah, a little different. We've had these before. They sell good. And these are all mint. They're a little dusty, but they're all mint. Well, here, Jack. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Makes me happy, happy. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. This is good, right? That's got to be like a hundred bucks, I think. Right. That's a Harley Davidson version. I haven't even tried to look it up yet, but look at this. It's got a Walmart like a sticker, like a pickup. Like they probably pre-ordered it because they didn't like do in-store pickup back then, unless it was like yeah. something that was out of stock or not not out yet. And this is a 1993 Tyco. Um, it's probably like 200. 200 bucks. 175, 200. Uh, there's one from 198, 175 sold pumps. Brand new. Look at those. Oh yeah. Remember the white boxes from yesterday, but they weren't so nice and pretty like that. Yeah, the... Franklin and stuff. And this stuff we love. This stuff sells great in our auction. Not big money, but. Well, that's gotta be old. It's not like the newer ones we're getting. Those are the older ones because of the time capsule. Ninety-one. Man, that's not bad. That's cool. True value. That's a nineteen thirty. I think it's neat. It's like a 90. 92? Yeah. It's cool. It's cool though, really nice. The huh? It's not a car. Right? It's just a display. Is it like part two? Like maybe that then the car goes in it? Maybe. Show the camera. It's cool. It's like curved though. Alright, I guess it is flat there. Set hmm. a car on it. It's got the American flag behind it. I'll help you out here. That's neat. It doesn't say what it is. Franklin Mint, though. It definitely says Franklin Mint, but it, sh it should say, like, you know, this is Harley Davidson display case. Remember we found Harleys? Yeah. These are display cases to advertise your Harleys in. Mm -hmm. so. Same. Another case? Another one here. We had a bunch of Harleys, so. Exactly the same. Remember we found a Harley Davidson knife yesterday? Remember I told you to go yeah. plate it? So you get a knife, a case, and a Harley for 425. Case and Harley 215. Here's a little try. Oh, I see it. It's more cycle. It's like the ones we had yesterday. Wow. See? Oh, yeah. This display case goes in. It's never opened it. It's sealed. All right. Well, see the camera? We're not going to open it, right? I'm probably better than not. What do you think? We might have to eventually. We have to show it eventually. Yeah. I guess there's no damage on it. Which I don't believe there is where it's packed. Here. Oh, yeah, right here. Just got a picture. Oh, look at that. That's right. really nice. Super bikes. Sportster 1957. Oh, there's with the case. Yep. Cases seem to be 30 on eBay, so. Okay. That's all right. That's better than start sticking with that. Okay. Got a camera bag. We found one yesterday, right? Found a lot of cameras. Flash those are, if those are new, those are good. That, that's a good... It says new? Yeah. It says new. I think it is. Nice. Those actually have a good value because you can't find them no more. People want to use those cameras. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, well, there's one. I think there's all five. Twelve golds. Oh. Okay. That's good. Kodak Instamatic. That's pretty... 
XR33. Keystone. Hmm, I don't know. Some of those little lightweight 35 millimeters, they go for decent money. There's some brand new film. This is a little cartridges. The 126 it says. Okay. Film, unused film is very good too. Yeah, especially the Yeah. It's not 35 millimeters, a little different. So but there's a couple of flashlights. I don't know, but these are very often hand painted. Oh, really sweet, Brian and Pepper. <laughs> is that a, is a pepper? I think coffee. Coffee, no coffee grinder. Okay, mm -hmm. that's cool. cool. Yeah, that's all I need. Oh, yeah. Uh, you guys remember Alameda? Good old days. 1994. A lot of potential in cameras. That's the most expensive camera you've ever sold. Oh, a couple hundred bucks. It was made in Italy, I think. That's one of those ones right there. Zeiss, Michael. Zeiss. Anytime you see the word Zeiss, it's good. Germany. Anytime you see the word Nikon, it's decent. That's cool. It's got a neat look to it. That's different. Almost feels like it's not complete because it's just odd looking camera. Oh, this. Oh, that's good right here. There's another Zeiss right here. Or Zeiss. Nice. Do that. Diax IA, that's neat. The case is in good condition too. This is Icon, not Nikon. Icon, yeah. That's a model number probably. Yeah. Zeiss is pretty good though. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pulling around there, Jack. That's good, huh? Duoflex. That's an old school one. Yeah, it is. Wind me up one. Huh. That's a probably a professional use that. This camera in the bestest condition is 150. I don't know, Bill. That Definitely one looks good too. Yeah. This one looks good too, though. This is Insomatic's little Kodak. This, I think, is just a case. Yeah, empty case. This is not empty. Another, no, this is not. This is an Agfa. It's made in Germany also. It's got nice collections. Mm. There we go. Oh, wow, look at that. This is another, That's really cool. This one's another hundred. Look at that. That's fancy. It, it is. is. That's fancy. That one's another hundred, I think. Okay, that's good. What's that one? This is an AGFA, A-G-F-A. Oh, yeah, AGFA. You seen that before? Yeah. I don't think I have. AGFA. You can't go by the, the case super. that it's in. You want to go by what? Right here, super selling it. AGFA selling it. Oh, yeah. This looks good. Are you recording? Yeah. All right. The phone got hot, so we had to turn off for a second, but... We want to look at these trains. Have you ever tried to bring in Otter Pops? Um, no. Oh, that's what I do. I strap frozen Otter Pops to my phone. I bought some little gel packs that you're supposed to like stick on it, but I wasn't planning on forgetting my GoPro data card to. Well, I know, so. It's an older one. It's a combination of metal and plastic. Okay. No, not as old as the ones we found yesterday. I mean, no, the old, the, with the ones ago. we found on the first day was the pre-war. Those were, I've never found them like that. That's the big money. This is okay though, right? Yeah, I would have speculated that's like at least 150 bucks. 100, 150 bucks possibly. Before the train locker, if I found this, I would think that was so amazing. We found so many trains, and in this one we found even better trains. It's so nice because it's higher and higher. Box right here, this is the uh, very last box. Very last box. Yeah. Uh, my phone's been overheating, so we didn't get too much okay. film today. But this, I'm happy, is not a miter saw. Even though we like tools, so we're gonna be a limit on the tools, okay. but there's no limit to what we might find in here. This is brand new. Excited? If, if I would be excited if I didn't know it was in there already. 
and I'm not good at faking it. That's six. That's like oh. Home remedies. Consumer gun. These are standard like book, you know, club, club book yeah. boxes. Ooh. Ooh. They didn't even leave us the chocolate. We did the most awful Oreo cooking challenge if you guys missed that in our previous videos we ate some oreos oh my gosh <laughs> look at those aren't you and jack both chiefs fans <laughs> i think you or jack should flip for it yeah harley davidson that's cool right yeah it has potential the m and m's cool yeah the m and m's cool that's good those are temperature things those are cool aren't they yeah. Oh no, it's a pen. That's cool. Yeah, that's nineties. It all color, color collectors like this stuff. For sure, huh? All the new old stuff. Uh, more trash coming out though. Mm -mm. Nope, sorry. It's good cheap stuff. Yeah, it is. Oh, some bulls. What's it? Not really. It's falling apart. I'll take it from you though. All right, vintage Oreos. Was 1996 a good year for Oreo? Hey, okay. that's good. Is it? I don't know. Armatron. Armatron. Is it? I don't know. I used to have wear one of those in fifth grade. I had to go to this camping trip. My mom bought me one of those because you like you're supposed to wear a watch or something yeah. for the trip. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah. I grabbed that one. Right. We can throw the Oreos away, right? I think it's safe too. Football shaped. Tin. That's it, just a tin. Jim found his workout. Trader. It's a trader. It's a point raceway. It's kind of neat. It's, a, it's, forgot, it's decent. I was looking for the right adjective. Tins, they like tins, these guys. Tins, uh, tins, uh, yeah, tins. That's kind of neat. The tree. Huh? Coca-Cola ornaments. All right. Mike's getting bored. I'm not bored. I'm just letting you film. <laughs> More soaps from Mickey Mouse. Don't drop the soap, Uncle Mike. Mm, this is the cool stuff. It's like at this point, though, this is this pales in comparison to stuff we found. It's, it's like yesterday. Yes. Remember, you were feeling like bored. Not really bored, but you were just like, oh, we found too many of these cool items. Yeah. yeah. This, this, this is all good little watch stuff. This is cool. It is. It is. All right, guys. Whoo! It's like I think it was 97 on my thermometer a little while ago. Okay, so no surprise, my phone was overheating at the facility there in Tracy, and I forgot my GoPro data card today. So, uh, uh, nothing was going right. So we've probably only got one video. Hopefully, I can squeeze two out of the footage we got. But I w I didn't go through much. But you can watch the footage, more footage on the Pirate Channel because whatever I didn't film, he did. Um, he had the GoPro and phone but both his were overheating today as well luckily i had a cooler full of ice so we could throw them in there you know and kind of like tag team it leapfrog it and uh one of one of our devices is in the cooler pretty much all the time trying to keep it cool and that seemed to work a little bit but anyways um went to the dump with my trailer to get rid of all the garbage like the water bed and just boxes of paper and old cardboard and stuff but that doesn't look empty does it no siree that is full why? Because I just came to my storage locker right here and uh, loaded up because tomorrow I'm going to the flea market. So Jana was just over here helping me load, uh, which was good because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. Even though Uncle Mike did most of the work today. Shout out to Uncle Mike. He did most of the work today as far as moving and lifting and, you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> he did most of the work. Me and Mike got, a, got off pretty easy today. But over here, uh, we loaded up real quick, and I feel great because both my lockers are very bare. There's still stuff in them, but they're very bare. Um, so tomorrow, flea market, will we get some footage, video footage of that? I don't know, hopefully. Maybe even a live, we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. We got good stuff. A lot of this stuff, a lot of this stuff was from the $1,800 locker. A little bit of this stuff was from the Versace locker, and it's mostly like cookware. And it was good cookware. And then um, we started even br bringing out some antiques that were supposed to be going to um, the Alameda Antique Market, which is once per month, but they've been closed since COVID started. So uh, and now they're going to be closed the rest of the year. So I can't sit on this stuff forever. I got to move it. So we're bringing some antiques out also and see what happens. 
But anyways, thanks you guys for watching. That was a fantastic locker. And you may have heard me mention, but we bought two that day. The other one's not old like this and dusty. It's new, lots of furniture, shrink wrap stuff. Looks like higher quality stuff, maybe, hopefully. Uh, can't really tell. And we haven't even done anything except for digging one box. So um, we'll go back there in a couple days. So there'll be more to do. A lot of the stuff, we just kind of did a once pass on it. It'll go to Mike's locker. And I'm going to go over there. I'm planning to go over there like maybe like once per week, spend a couple hours. We'll dig through, you know, a bunch of boxes and pull stuff out for our auctions, pull stuff to put on eBay and pull stuff out to go to the market. And when we get through it a second pass, because this stuff's pretty good. It's too good to uh, sort out that quickly in the sun, you know, un under a deadline. We're going to take our time and go through a little more carefully because it's pretty good stuff. I think there's a lot of money to be made here, even though we paid five grand. Well, anyways, thanks for going with us on this adventure. We'll update you. Make sure you attend our lives. We'll give updates in the lives as opposed, you know, in regards to what we've made and so on. If we find anything really exciting, you'll get updates in our lives. But also for the auction, the auction part of the live where you can buy some of the items that you saw us pull out. All right. Thanks, you guys. Next video will be out soon. Until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Lock and Nuts. Waiting. So while we're waiting, how about we take a little pizza? Huh? Ready? All right. Ooh, that's dusty too. I see some dust there. Okay. Uh huh. Usually I don't buy furniture. <laughs>